Hey yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Matthew Maley for MatthewMaley.com. Well, it is officially another wonderful, well, I guess you could call it a wonderful weekend of football if you're not a Green Bay fan, but uh, definitely a crazy week to say the least. So I wanted to do another recap video from week three of the NFL as well as all of my fantasy games. And uh, well, let's hop right into it. So. It was an almost pretty solid week. I ended up going three out of four, um, including my two teams and my two fantasy teams. And I could have gone four out of four, but we'll get to that in a second. So first off, we'll start with the real games. Um, really was a, a game I picked, felt it, knew it based on our defense. But the Cardinals, mm, 27 to 6 over the Eagles, sacked Vic, I think, six times. Was it four times? Forced a fumble that we ran back for a touchdown. I mean, we mopped the floor with the Eagles, and we are officially 3-0 for the first time since the 70s when we weren't even the Arizona Cardinals. So that's definitely saying something about us. And I'm not saying that we are one of the best teams in the league, but I think that people are going to have to give us a little bit more you know, credit than they have been. And we're top of our division. That's saying something. So... We'll see. Next couple weeks, we'll really get it to, to figure out if it's staying on the top or if it's going to even off a little bit. I think our defense is going to be able to carry us. Um, so I actually really think that, that I'm not saying that we're going to be able to win the division, but I think that we could win a playoff spot. I think we could win a wild card spot, my opinion. But I'm a homer, so what can I say? Secondly was by far, 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 far the game of the weekend other than the controversy from Monday night's game, but it comes to the Ravens-Patriots game. Ended up with a last second field goal that itself had controversy in it as it went over the goalpost. Um, so all kinds of issues, Bill Belichick assaulting a referee afterwards, all kinds of crazy stuff. But the Ravens won as time expired, 31 to 30 off of our rookie's leg. That's for you, Rook. So great game, um, really great game. Very balanced game from us. Um, Flacco's really starting to prove haters wrong. Engineered an amazing comeback. Second straight game, he's truly outplayed Brady. Um, I mean, just truly outplayed him. So it was a, a, a very happy moment for me um, to have both my teams win. So really, Ravens should be 3-0 as well. It was a BS game against uh, the Eagles, but whatever. Um, and even, even last night's game was pretty rough as well. Um, all kinds of BS penalties on both sides, honestly. we got to get the real refs back, especially after tonight's game. Because what the hell, people? I, I, if you guys haven't seen it yet, watch ESPN anything. They've got to be showing this play. Comes down to the last second. Green Bay's up by six. Five. Up by five. Yes. It is 12 to seven. Okay, 12 to seven. Covering the spread. We're golden. I'm in line for a win. And then comes the play that everybody's going to be talking about. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. So when everybody's talking about it, you can know what the hell's going on. OMG. Hail Mary goes up. MD Jennings catches the ball. As he's falling down, Golden Tate gets his arm up inside, and then as they hit the ground, he puts his other hand on. And even though it was a clear interception, a clear interception that Golden Tate then just tried to steal, the one line judge, the back ref, comes running over and he signals a touchback as it would be after an interception in the end zone. Standing right next to him, literally a foot away, other guy signals a touchdown. And it was the single picture of the comedy of errors that's been going on in the league with these replacement refs. That right there sums it all up. Standing right next to each other, a foot away from each other, they signal completely opposite plays. But at the end, Seahawks got the call. And uh, which then turned into another comedy of errors. 
Oh, it was ridiculous to be quite honest. As they reviewed it, then everybody left the field, then they had to kick a field goal, so they brought the offense back, but then they had to have other people lined up, so they had to bring 11 people off the Packers back. It was ridiculous. I cannot wait to see what happens on Twitter, but it's going to blow up, I'll tell you that. So, truly ridiculous, and overshadowed an amazing Baltimore-New England game, which really was the game of the week, but I guarantee you this is going to be the game everybody's talking about. So, right there, I am 2-0, and and that brings us to fantasy. So, in the Borrows, previously Borrows League, now just the BFFL League, so the BFF League, yeah. Um, I was going into the final game down three points, but I had Mason Crosby, which thankfully Mason Crosby booted two extra points, so I ended up getting the win by exactly 3.4 points. So beautiful win for me, 184.4 to 81. So very happy about that, even though I didn't score many points. But then we get to the sadness. And uh, for that, also in that league, I had uh, Jamal Charles. So him alone got me 35 points, thankfully, because Vic didn't do a damn thing. So then we get to my other league, and uh, I could have won it. But, and I, I probably should have thought about it, just because Tom Brady was going up against Baltimore. But it's, how, how do you not play Tom Brady? I mean, it's Tom Brady. I hate the guy, but how do you not play him? And I didn't. I'm sorry, and I did. Instead of playing Ben Roethlisberger, who ended up going off for 40 points, and I ended up losing by 20. If I would have played him, I would have won by, like, 12 points. So I ended up losing, like, 120 to 1, or, like, 90, I think. I'm sorry, no, it couldn't have been 120. It had to have been, like, 1-something to 95. Because I know if I would have played uh, Tom Brady, I would have won it. I'm sorry, if I would have played Ben Roethlisberger... I would have won it. So that was kind of shitty, but it is what it is. I still ended up going 3-1, and one, which I'm pretty happy about, um, especially because for a stretch there, I thought I was going to lose both games, even with having huge uh, production from Jamal Charles, as well as pretty good games from Andre Johnson, Larry Fitzgerald, all that. So ended up was pretty happy about going 3-1. Uh, going and one. So hopefully next week I can get it back to 4-0 and oh, like I did in week one and uh, – Really keep building the season. Um, pretty sure about the Ravens' win. I mean, th for next week, they're going to be playing the Browns. I mean, the Browns have looked pretty horrible, and the Ravens look pretty good. But that's one of those trap games. You never really know. You know, there's such a rivalry there. Either team can be horrible coming in, and you always got to worry about it. So, hopefully, it's going to end up with a nice Ravens victory, and we'll go from there. So, once again, I am Matthew Maley. This is MatthewMaley.com. Thank you for checking out my NFL, my 2012 NFL and fantasy recap for week three of all the action. And uh, let me know how you guys did. How did your fantasy teams do? How did your favorite teams do? I'm always curious to find out. So, as always, thank you guys for checking out my videos. I am Matthew Maley. This is MatthewMaley.com. And, well, until the next video, I'm officially signing off. So make sure to check out my other videos on MatthewMaley.com. You can also check me out directly on YouTube. Just search for Matthew Maley Poker. You can also check me out on Facebook. I post all my videos on there. So again, just search for Matthew Maley Poker. You can also follow your boy on Twitter. I'm always tweeting about football. So if you like football, definitely follow me on Twitter. I'm at Matthew Maley. And finally, I'm getting new, to, I'm getting new and uh, figuring out Instagram. So check me out up on there. I am again at Matthew Maley Poker. So... Until the next video, I'm officially signing off. Peace out, everybody. Hope you all had a great weekend and have a great week.